the entrepreneur is no it's no joke but i love it i do love this so much like it makes my heart happy when i gotta ship orders out and people message me about things they want to buy or when they post the stuff that i'm that i'm selling it makes my heart so happy and i'm so grateful like not only to y'all for supporting me but i'm so grateful to god for giving me this vision for giving me this opportunity like good morning um it is saturday March, I don't even know, whatever, it's Saturday, March 7th, 8th, hold on, March 9th, actually, and um, I'm just walking Suchi this morning, and then I actually, you know, the um, sale for Sephora and um, Ulta started like a couple days ago, but I was waiting literally for two products, the NARS Pot Concealers, they were on sale at both Sephora and Ulta, but I ended up ordering them through Sephora to come in the mail, and I also ordered some Bobbi Brown Cream, um probably brown cream to come into the mail from sephora and then from Ulta, i just ordered morphe setting spray because i love her down it's my favorite setting spray besides um charlotte tilbury i use them together makeup flawless but yeah i'm about to go pick up my order from Ulta because it was cheaper to pick it up <laughs> than to get it shipped so i'm gonna go pick that up today after i walk tucci and then um I'm going to run some more errands. I'm waiting for the package to come for the return so I can do that. Tell me why one of my packages went to San Diego. How does that even happen? Like the post office has, I don't even know. I had to file a claim for that. But anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. But good morning, y'all. I need to go to Ulta to pick up my package. I was in line, but I changed my mind. The line is entirely too long and I'm not about to wait. I have to wait in line to get it. I will come back first thing in the morning. I'm not doing that tonight. That line's crazy. It's like all the way in the back of the street. I'm mean, having like the deals today. So that line is insane. And there is something I want to pick up. I want to get a new lash primer. Well, I want to get another one because what I have is like running out. But that line is insane. It's all the way to the back of the store. So I will wait and I will get it tomorrow. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. But since I'm over here, I'm about to go ahead and go to Sprouts. Yeah. Looks like my package came from the person. I got one bag. All right, lovelies, we're gonna try this Ulta. Again, I need to get my setting sprays and I also just wanna get some face wash and um, a lip oil. So let's try it again. Hopefully I can get it right this time. which uh, I can get it from Target, but you know, I wanted the points at Ulta, but it's okay. But I'm about to show what I got, hold on. This is literally what I got. So I got an Essence lip oil. Um, It was $5, so I figured why not try that? And then I got this lash primer 
because I need a new one. The Lancome is really expensive and I wanted to try to see if this works, you know, better if not, I mean, good, just as good if not better. This lip oil, let's try this one. Okay, the doe foot is good. It's an orange color too, but I'm dark skinned, so it's gonna be clear. Mmm. <laughs> I like the way it feels. It smells stinky though. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. Can you guys see it? Let me show you. Can you see? Not bad. Not bad at all. And then, um, of course, I did the Ulta sale yesterday. I ordered, um, I ordered two Morphe setting sprays. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite setting sprays. So I ordered two of them yesterday. They were ooh, eight fifty for this. This I think was originally like seventeen fifty. I'm not mistaken. But the two point eight ounces was eight fifty yesterday. So I ordered two of those. So yeah. That's it. And then for the lip oil and the um, lash primer, I literally paid ten ninety two. If you guys can see, I literally paid ten dollars and ninety two cent for both of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me get myself over here to the grocery store. I got to go to Trader Joe's today, and I'm going to go to Food for Less because Ralph's has the same things, but Ralph's be costing it more sometimes, and I just don't want to spend that much money. Like, baby, we on a budget. So, Ralph's, I mean, food, I mean, I'm going to, sorry, go to Trader Joe's and then Food for Less. I'm making taco salad tonight, so I need to get my ingredients. I already got ground turkey. I just need to get the rest of my ingredients, so, yeah, yeah. Hey, lovelies. I just wanted to show y'all what I got for my grocery haul today. Um, I did never even make the Trader Joe's. I went to Food for Less, but I didn't make it to Trader Joe's. Food for Less lines were so long, y'all. I'm not even joking. Like, I was standing in the chip aisle, and we were all the way back towards the meat. That's how far the line was. Like, if you've been to a Food for Less, then you know. Crazy, but I got a big old box of Reese's. This is my favorite cereal besides... Actually, this is my favorite cereal. I have a favorite cereal throughout the years, but this one is my favorite right now. This big-ass box on $3.49. I don't know if it's a part of the, the little boycott, but I got them. I'm making taco salad tonight, so I got some um, tortilla rounds. I actually happen to like the Kroger brand. I told y'all, I'm from Ohio, and Kroger brand, to me, is like the shit. So, Kroger brand tortilla chips. I got some cheese, some uh, Mexican blend cheese for my um, taco salad. Blueberries for my yogurt, of course. Refried beans for the taco salad taco seasoning look kroger brand baby kroger brand um sardines these are for tucci though um i got some diced jalapenos also kroger brand um picante sauce i didn't see the kroger brand so i got picante this was cheaper than actually i did see kroger brand but this was like 259 and a kroger brand was like three something so picante i got that one medium some green onion of course not the one with the ball but regular green onion for my chives on my taco salad Ooh, it fell and i got some grapefruit because i love me some grapefruit also i got i already put it in the fridge so i didn't want it to go bad but ooh. i got this sour cream i got some butter and I got this um, Delights Cold Foam Macchiato. Like, um, can y'all see? Delight Cold Foam Creamer. I'm definitely trying this tomorrow on my coffee. For sure, for sure. But let me go ahead and, I need this how it came out. Oh, this way, let me go ahead and cook. Oh, I also got this. Y'all do not drink pop, but I had a craving and I went a little overboard. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that is my grocery haul. Nothing major, nothing major, real slight. Um, I'm about to put some of these groceries away and I'm going to make this. It's going to be real quick to make this. Take me a shower, baby. I'm going to eat and um, watch um, BMF. Do y'all watch BMF? I'm going to watch BMF. The new season came out last week and the new episode came out this past Friday, which would have been the 7th. 
the 8th. Whatever day Friday was, March 7th or 8th. So I gotta watch that. I'm gonna eat this taco salad while I do. Sipping on my crush. And yeah, that's my night, y'all. Nothing too major. Sunday was a good day. I need to go to Trader Joe's, but I really only wanted to go because I wanted to get some mango pieces, some mango, the mango slices. And I wanted to get some mandarin chicken, I mean the orange chicken and some fried rice and some popsicles. That's all I wanted. So when I get over there, I'll get that. But that's it. Let me go ahead and grab my ground turkey ready. Let me go ahead and throw this in the skillet and get to cooking. Y'all, I didn't shower and I'm literally, I didn't got in the bed. Y'all, I eat in my bed. I don't care. Y'all can say what y'all want. I don't make crumbs in my bed. I don't make a mess, but I do eat in my bed. But I wanted to show you my taco salad because it looks so damn good. Like, oh, girl. Ooh. It got the chips and then I add a layer of the refried beans and then it's the taco meat or the ground turkey. Um, <clears throat> and then it's cheese and then jalapenos and then chives, and then salsa and sour cream. Bussin', honey. Ooh, good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Good night, y'all. Good night. Hey, booze, what's up? Um, it is Monday, March 11th, and I'm shipping out packages. Again, these jackets. I'm trying to tell y'all they selling out. People still want them. Um, but right now, what I'm doing is, I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing. So I have these labels for my business, like little hanging tags you put on the garments. It just says Alley Rain on the front. On the back, it just has uh, my website. My website and a verse, a Bible verse. Um, and what I have is these little string things that I just attached to it. I want to show y'all. How can I show y'all? Um, let me see. Let me see if I can do it like this. Um, I told y'all I don't want to show y'all my desk. It is so messy. But, so here is the tag that came on it. I'm just going to pull this off. It's kind of hard to show y'all while I'm doing that. And then I'm literally just going to put my hang tag on there. So this is so hard to do with my hand like this, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway. So I put this through here like this, and then I'm going to attach it to the label in here. So uh, let me attach it and then let me attach it real quick and then I'll show y'all what it looks like once I attach it. Um, but yeah, shipping out packages. I'm gonna go to, I only got one today. This is realistic life of an entrepreneur. Today I got one package, but that's more than I had yesterday. Right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, so now that I got the hang tag on, let me show y'all. So you see it's on there? See, see, see? That's a Alley Rain, baby. And you flip it to the back and it has website and all that good stuff on it. And the bridal dress. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to package this back up. That's all I do. I don't like to mess with the packages too much. When these first come, though, I always open up every single package and I inspect it. And then I put it back inside these bags. I remember I bought those large poly mailers the other day. They're coming. I need to order mine off Amazon, but they're coming in handy. This comes in a pack of five, and I used one already. So let's use another. I already printed off their label, their shipping label, all that good stuff. But... Where have you been? Nobody knows me. <laughs> that is stuck in my head. But anyway. So y'all know when I put this, this this one is huge. This is a big poly mailer. It fits both of two shackets. But what I do to make them fit is I take them and I just fold them up. And I'm just going to put them in the bag. I need a better setup because I want to show y'all exactly what I'm doing. I need a better setup. It's coming, Jesus. I know. It's coming. It's coming, Lord. So this person ordered a small and a large. I'm guessing they ordered one for themselves and one for somebody else. Either way, I'm grateful, Lord. 
either way, I'm grateful to you. Okay, so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. They're both in here. See, see, slave? Slave, slave? And I only add, if you order once from me, I add this. This person is like a repeat customer. So I'm not going to add that again because it has um, like a discount code on it. And I don't, I ain't going to, I'm going to be honest. Giving you a discount every single time you shop is me losing money. So I'm just going to put one of my business cards inside there. It has my QR codes for my TikTok, for my, uh, pay, my page, my TikTok, and my IG. So I'm going to put one of these inside there. Maybe two, actually. Let me put two of them in there. Yeah. Two, two. If y'all want to know how I made all my business cards, I use Zazzle. Z-A-Z-Z-L-E. I love Zazzle. They are my absolute fave. The one thing I love about poly mailers is that um, you can... They already come with a sticky to close them up, so... Label. I don't want y'all to see the name, but label. And then I'm going to run this to the post office. There we go. Another package ready to go. Okay, let me, um, let me, uh, let me get this right here. I had to update my website because, um, for some reason, Shopify did not update it correctly, and I don't like that. I know I bought this yesterday from Ulta, and it's not bad. It's not sticky, and um, I feel like it gives a pretty good shine. It's called Honey Honey. That's the that's the color I got, Honey Honey. So yeah, but yeah, let me package all this up real quick, and let me get myself to the post office. Clocks are all back, and I did not change my clock before i go to the post office i want to change it so let's do that it is 10 oops 10 13 but it just turned then turned then. i like mine to be like on the money dang that's fine 10 13 it's currently 10 13 a.m post office open up at 9 a.m but i'm on the way let's grab our package and Let's be on the way. Hopefully, I didn't see nobody's name, but I'm on the way. Right. On my way to the post office. Let's hope I do not miss my turn. Y'all know I always miss my turn to the post office. I'm going to take a different way today. Hopefully, hopefully, that saves me from missing my turn. So, let me bust a U turn real quick. Don't look at me like that, nigga. You saw me making a U turn. I ain't mean to say nigga. Sorry, I need to stop saying that word. Don't look at me like that. You saw me making a U turn. Anyhow, let's get to the post office. Hopefully, I don't miss my turn this time. But y'all, y'all know being an entrepreneur is it's it's kind of wild sometimes. Like, um, I do it full time, and sometimes it's kind of unreal that I could wake up and kind of do whatever I want, but not really do whatever I want because I have a business to run. Does that make sense? Like, um, my brother's baby shower is in June, and I'm debating if I should be gone for a week because a week is a long time we have a business because you have orders to ship out granted right now march i don't have orders every single day i'm I, right now i'm averaging oh shoot not my phone fail right now i'm averaging orders i would say one every like every like three days i would say i'm averaging an order so probably like twice a week three times a week um i'm getting orders is this my turn i don't know about to find out <laughs> i'm always missing it but you know by then my, i pray my my goal is my my prayer my goal is to get orders every single day i'm putting in ot triple ot quadruple ot i don't even know if they have one cinco ot that means five i'm putting in the work i really really want this to work for me like it's going to work for me yeah i should have went one more block up because post office is right here but that's fine but you know i um 
I definitely want uh, this is gonna work for me that's I want to this is gonna work for me so by then I plan to have orders every single day so I want to go home for the baby shower I'm going home for the baby shower and when the baby's born so I'll be going home twice this year to meet my niece my niecey poo and to go to the baby shower um so that's my only plans for travel this year I don't plan on going anywhere else those are my only plans I about to say there's no parking spots um those are my only plans so you know y'all pray for me pray that i um don't be saying out no raggedy bogus prayers really pray for me that i get you know that i get this y'all this guy rear ended me and my car makes that weird noise now only when i back up does it do that and i need to take it to the shop to see what's going on with that but yeah um the entrepreneur is no it's no joke but i love it i do love this so much like it makes my heart happy when i gotta ship orders out and people message me about things they want to buy or when they post the stuff that i'm that i'm selling it makes my heart so happy and i'm so grateful like not only to y'all for supporting me but i'm so grateful to god for giving me this vision for giving me this opportunity like my heart is like it's full my heart is very full and i still my heart is it's full but i know my heart can be bigger because i know it's going to get even fuller you know so i'm very very grateful but let's get this package up in here so we can get this package shipped out remember what i said get your receipt get a receipt dang do i got change because this meter i'm only gonna be in there for a few minutes but maybe i could put like a dime in the meter i think a dime gives me like six minutes i don't want no smokes you know what i'm saying i ain't using no whole quarter ain't nobody about to get no whole quarter out of me I got a dime and a nickel. Let's put the nickel in first and see what that does. These parking meter people, they just be, they be working OT. I already got a ticket I got to pay in, in like a week or so. Yeah, it's due like in a week. $68. Crazy. That is insanity. You feel me? And freaking sanity. Oh. All right, let me put some money inside this meter. Now you're gone. What am I gonna do? And Keisha Cole. They gave me three minutes. A dime. I mean, a nickel did. So I'm just gonna put nine minutes. That's a dime. I mean, that's a whole ten minutes. That's plenty of time. Yo, when I came outside this morning to go to the gym, it was like 6 a.m. Tell me why my window was down all night, my passenger window. I was like, <gasps> I thought somebody broke it. Girl, it was just down. I just had it down all night, which is crazy. Stupid. Very stupid of me. But let's go in this post office. I already know what I'm about to say. Get your motherfucking receipt. Y'all already know. But that was quick. Literally, it took me like not even 30 seconds to do that. So I just wasted a whole nine minutes at the meter. Waste that money at the meter is crazy. But that's okay. Got my receipt though. Good morning. It is, oh, it's afternoon. Tuesday, March 12th. It is my nephew's 19th birthday. Everybody say happy birthday, James. It's my nephew's 19th birthday. Today is Tuesday, March 12th um i'm already out and about i didn't mess i didn't like get on my thing this morning i should have but this time change is making it hard for me to like move around like i'm one of them people but i stopped by the dollar store i needed some batteries so i stopped by the 99 cent store over here in silver lake i think i'm gonna move to silver lake when i move i like silver lake a lot it's really pretty it's walkable I think I'm gonna move to Silver Lake. I like Silver Lake. We're gonna put that in the in the in the atmosphere. We're gonna put it out to God. I'm gonna request to God. My next place is gonna be in Silver Lake. Still Los Angeles, but Silver Lake because it's just down the street from Marley right now. Let me show you what I got at the dollar store. These are one dollar and forty nine cent. These sunglasses. Tell me how cute these are. So I got some that are like like dark. They're like tan color. Um, they're so cute. I'll show y'all. But um. I got them like two years ago at the 99 cent store in San Diego. But I just found these are purple. These are hella cute. I don't care what y'all say. Cute. $1.49. I love that. Um, look. This little bottle of tequila. Look, mommy. I got you a toy. It don't squeak. I was about to say. Look. It says Patron. That's so cute. It was $3. I got this for Tucci Mom. Mommy, look. I got you a toy. Where's the squeaker? 
Look, mommy. You want it? Here, let me give it to you. I know you want it. Here. She gotta inspect it first. You want it, mommy? Look. You want a toy? Look. You want a toy, mommy? Here. Okay. She don't want it right now. That's fine. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> I needed a remote for my TV, so I just bought like a universal remote. Literally, it was like $2. Like, literally, it's just a little basic remote. The package all beat up, but it was the last one. But if it don't work, I will bring it back. I don't care if it was $2. Um, Look at this dress I got for mommy. It's so cute. It says it's a medium. Hopefully, she can fit it. She is a little thick in the hips, you know? She's a little thick. She's a little thick. But this is so cute. I'm about to put it on her right now. Mommy, you wanna put a dress on? It came with a hanger and everything. That is so cute. Mommy, you wanna put a dress on, honey bun? Here, let me put a dress on you. Come here. Ah. I love my dog because she lets me do whatever to her. She do not be giving a damn. Maybe I should've got you a large. You a little thick thick. Nah, you okay. It fits. Arm, give me your arm, mommy. Oh my goodness, Tucci. Look how cute you are. Oh my gosh. Look at her dress, y'all. Look at my mommy's dress. Look. Her so cute. You're so cute in your dress. It's a little bulky because I got her harness on, but mommy, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at you, mommy. Look at her. Tucci mom, say hi. Say hi everybody. My name is Tucci. You're so cute, mommy. Quit acting like you don't want to act. Quit playing around. Tucci and her cute little dress. It's cute, mommy. Um, and then I got batteries. Batteries. These batteries don't even last that long, I don't think, but they last long enough for what I need them for. So, batteries. But that's all I got. And this coffee shop I went into today, he gave me a free coffee. It's so good. Mm. Which is so cool because I um I wanted to make coffee this morning at home, but I just didn't feel like it. This time change, losing an hour to me is like detrimental. Not detrimental, that's so dramatic, but it's it's you know it does a lot because I like to sleep. Like I like I need my sleep. I like sleep. So that hour be messing me up. But I didn't want to make coffee. I ended up walking into this coffee shop. It was so cute. He's like, You want a free coffee? Um, yeah, thank you. But it's in Silver That's why I want to move to Silver Lake. That place, I was kind of just scoping out Silver Lake and seeing a cute little coffee shop. I just walked in just to see the vibes, feel the vibes. And I, I might have been looking like a creep. <laughs> he probably thought I was homeless. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't think that. Um, I was just asking questions. And then um, people were like, you know how their laptops, they do have free Wi-Fi, all this stuff. It's like, you want a free coffee? I think he's like trying to get me to come back as a customer. But I will be back, sir. Because this coffee is bomb. The Aviance was bomb. And it's just cute. Like, it's a simple, cute shop. You can sit there with your laptop, do your work. I love that. So, for sure, for sure. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you the little things that I bought. I went to the dollar, dollar store. Little cute things. My mommy, you're so cute, honey bun. You're so cute, mommy. I have my sunglasses on right now because I can even though I have a stash in my car, but they're old. I need to change them out. These are, the glasses that are stashed in my car are probably from like two summers ago. Like, these are still a vibe, but they're too small for my face. I feel like my face is too wide. Maybe they was cuter when I had my wig on. I don't know. These are so old. I used to love these, but I where am I going with these? Nowhere. Was, I got these on like years ago. I ain't going nowhere with those. These are just, you know, the basics of the basics. Jessica Simpson, but they're all bent out of shape. I think I had a drunk night and I bent them up because look, they all bent. It's broke right here on the side. Like, no bueno. These other ones are just basic too. Just some basic aviators, but this ain't the vibe no more. Oh, these are kind of cute still. Mm, they're kind of cute still. I might keep these in the car. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the stash I got down there right now. But these for sure yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm i love these dollar 49. cute all right let me um let me um let me um let me get my 
get up out of here. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. My package from Sephora came. I'm so excited. Um, y'all know I did the, the sale that happened. I told y'all I went to Alta and then I also ordered from Sephora. Let me open up this package and show y'all what's in here. I want to make show y'all what I got. I didn't get a whole bunch, but you know, your girl got enough. That's all I wanted. I've never tried the NARS um, soft matte concealer, but I got it. I got two of them, as you can see. Um, I got them in the color um, Walnut. That is the color I use uh, for concealer all the time, even when I, you know, my regular, I use NARS. I'm a NARS girl. I'm her. Um, the packaging is so nice. It's so, like, sophisticated. Ooh, Okay. I love this concealer. Already, I haven't even tried it yet, but it looks good. Can you guys see? Yeah. I don't really want to put my finger in it, but. Ooh, it's thick too. Oh, yes. I like this. Okay. I just put a little, little tiny bit on my hand, but that's my, my concealer shade that I like. I like it a little bit brighter. I like my under eyes to be bright and a little bit, like, you know, you know, you know, you know the areas, the T zone. But that's so nice. Um,. I also got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Concealer Cream. I mean, uh, base, sorry. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. Um, I got the smaller one. This was $25 for this. Matter of fact, these, I'm sorry. These were on sale. They're originally $32, but they were $16, so I got two. Um, and then I got the face base. Everybody said this face base primer is the bomb. I'm going to do a full face of makeup with my new stuff so I can show y'all. But... Okay, it's creamy. It's real creamy. I like that. It's real creamy. I like that. Okay. Oh, shoot. But yeah, so I got that. Comes in a package like this. Kind of small, as you can see. And you know you get samples, right? You get samples. So... Um, the sample, this is not what I ordered at all. What the hell is this? They just send you whatever they want. Cause these are not the samples that I fucking ordered. They do whatever. But anyway, these are the samples I got. They send whatever, I guess. So I got this, um, Huda Beauty lashes. I did not want this, but whatever. They sent me that. And then this Versace perfume sample. I did not want that either, but I guess that's what they sent me. Let me see what it smells like. They just send whatever the hell they want. It was what it looked like. What's the purpose of asking somebody if you just gonna send what you want anyway? Oh shit, I done broke it. Ain't that about a B I T C H? See? I don't like that. No. It smells like somebody's grandmammy. I don't like that. I don't like I don't like this. Mm -mm. No. It smells like an old lady. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't like. Whatever this Versace perfume is, I don't like that. But I did use 100 of my points because I've never used super. I have sunscreen that I use all the time. I use the CeraVe brand, but they had the Super Goop for 100 points, the little, you know, small one, um, the glow screen. So I'm definitely going to try that. Let me just put a little bit on my hand. Okay, the little, the little, the little protection. Okay, let me just put a little, 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 little tiny bit on my hand. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Okay, it's not white and it does leave my hand a little glowy. Y'all can't see because it's kind of dark. But can you see the shine on my hand right here? I put it right here. Can you see the difference? No shine, shine. No shine, shine, no shine. So it looks okay. Looks all right. That's what I got from Sephora. I'm gonna do a full face of makeup to show you what everything looks like. But I am going to wash a bunch of my wigs later because I got, I think I got like maybe 12 wigs I need to wash y'all. So I'm going to do that a little later. Yeah, I'm going to do that a little later. But I just wanted to show what I got from Sephora. 
so excited. I already showed her what I got from Alta the other day. So I got picked it up on Sunday, but I showed y'all that. But and I've been using this. Um, I've been using this the um lip oil. It's not that bad. It's okay. I mean, it was five dollars. It's all right. It feels kind of like you know what it smells like. If you know, you know. Like those hair, the hair store, the hair store back in the day, the lip gloss at the hair store. That's what this smells like. Like they're really the ones that was didn't have a scent, but they had like that. Like that smell of like lip gloss, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Who know you know, you know. But it's okay. I don't mind it. it does keep my lips moisturized. They don't feel like when it's off, when it, you know, I done rubbed it off or it's off. It doesn't feel like my lips don't feel dry. They feel pretty moisturized still. So I, I do appreciate that. So I like it. But yeah, let me, um, I'm about to make some lunch real quick. And then I'm going to get started on these wigs in a little bit. Y'all, I decided to, I was going to buy a new wig, but. So I was going to buy a new wig, but I decided that I'm going to take all my wigs that I have and I'm going to wash them, refresh them. I got some silicone mix. We're going to get these wigs back right. I got my moisture conditioner and shampoo and I got some leave-in conditioner, but I'm going to count these wigs for y'all so I can see how many wigs I got. I was going to buy another one, but I got plenty. Let me just refresh them. But I had them soaking in this water. Look how dirty. <gasps> I just washed this one. Oh. Uh I just washed this one and it fell back in the dirty water. Ain't that some shit? But look how dirty. Look. Damn it. Oh, fucker. I just washed this fucking wig. Look how dirty the water is. Because I had all of them wigs soaking in this water. That is trifling. But let me count all the wigs for y'all so I can see how many I got. And they're starting to leak. This is one. Let me let this water out. All right, let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven freaking wigs. I'm putting them all in this bag so I can get them out the way. I just got this whole counter soaking wet. But that's eleven wigs that I'm about to wash today and get right. But that's all right because they all need to be washed. 11. 11. What the hell? 11 wigs I gotta wash. 11. I'm gonna wash them all. I'm not gonna film it because I wanna listen to something and I can't listen and do at the same time. So I'm going to wash them all. I got the floor soap. Let me go get a towel. But yeah, I'll show y'all the finished product. I needed to show y'all my food. Oh my gosh. It got the cheese on it, jalapenos, some some um, sauteed onions, some grilled onions. I got two chicken and two asada. Oh, I'm about to tear these up. And of course, I got my the spicy ass. They they marinate this in habanero, habanero juice. I got the spicy verde sauce, some sour cream, and some cucumbers. I'm about to tear this food up. I'm so hungry. Y'all, it took me hours. I started that wig at 2 o'clock. It's 9.46. Took me about 10, maybe about 15 minutes. Maybe about 20 minutes total. So it took me about 6, 7 hours to do that wig. To, un to detangle it and then wash it. That wig was so matted. It didn't even make no sense to be that freaking matted. But I love that wig and I'm starting, I'm really sitting here thinking like how in the H did it get that matted? I don't even understand how it got that matted. I don't know, but that's my favorite wig. So you know how I do what I had to do. To do my big one with that. I'm drinking pop. I never really drink pop, but I'm drinking Orange Crush. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tear these little, they call mu mu I about to say mulattoes. Jesus. It start with an M. It's like a taco, but it got cheese on it. And then I added grilled onions and jalapenos. So I'm about to tear these down. Good morning. Today is 
March 14th. It's pie day, 314. Um, I might give me a slice of pie today just because it's pie day. I don't even like desserts like that, but I might. Anyway, it is Thursday, March 14th. I have a busy day ahead of me. Um, I detangled those wigs yesterday. My wig that I'm, my curly one that I love. I don't know how it got so tangled, y'all, but anyway, I need to go get some mousse. I want to try a different, like, styling mousse for it. So I'm going to go to Sally's to do that. I need to go to the fashion district. There's this dress that I saw that I want to go fill the fabric of because I'm not just buying anything offline. Um, I need to fill the fabric to see how thick it is, what the quality is. So I'm going to do that. Um, what else I got to do? Oh, um, I had another wig that I, um, that I, it's an old wig. I think I wore it maybe like, maybe for like a week. No lie. I, um, I had dyed it like ginger, but I don't like it. So I had promised somebody that I would give it to them. So I'm going to curl it up for them and then uh, ship that out as well with the packages for my, um, for Allie Rain. I'm going to do that today. <clears throat> um, Tucci, what else we got to do, mommy? What else we got to do, honey, bud? Good morning, mommy. She just looking at me, wagging her little tail. But yeah, busy day ahead of me. I got a couple things I got to do. But first, I need to get up and get dressed. I already said my prayers. Thank you, Lord, for this day. So yeah, I just wanted to start off saying good morning like I always do. Good morning to my babies. Good morning to my lovelies. Um, I'll see y'all in the car. All right, like I told y'all before, it's Sally's, Fashion District, Trader Joe's. Um, I need to call the person that is getting this wig for me and ask her if she wants me to customize it for her. Because if she does, I'm gonna customize it for her. Um, I want to know, like, does she want a certain part? How she want it curled? I'll, I'll do it for her. I'll, I'll do it up. It is a human hair wig, but I feel like that wig don't really hold a curl that well. But I'm gonna get. I think I got some hairspray at home. I'm pretty sure I do. Sally's got the four for twenty five sale right now. I don't really know if I need four different products, but I mean, I probably will need four different products. So I'm gonna just go to Sally's and see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. See what the sale. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Let me grab a water. Sorry. Woo, see what the sale talking about. And then um, hit the fashion district. I feel like I'm catching my groove on my business and I love that. Like, I know how I want, like what I want the business to look like. And I'm so thankful to God for giving me the vision for that because I don't know what he's saying, but. Ugh. I hate this water, but I got this whole case of water for free. So I'm gonna drink it. Um. I literally just keep it in the back seat. I don't like cold water anyway. I like room temperature water, so I just keep it in the back seat. It's not too hot in LA, so it ain't making it like, you know, hot, hot. This thing shaking. Lord, what's going on now? Why is it doing that? Favorite brand, but I was looking for their mousse. Ooh, this is this it? Yes. Okay. Four for 25. Yes, this is my favorite hairspray too, but look at the price now. That's crazy. This right here is the best for if you want smooth hair, I'm telling you. You want bone silky hair, get this. I definitely need this, so I'm getting this. So heat protectant, some mousse. Do I need some criminal though? I don't feel like I need that. I don't plan on straightening it too much. Mm. I might buy two of these instead. Then this new criminal. Yes. Right, bag is secured from Sally's. Um, 
I can show y'all what I got. I'm at the stoplight. I paid, uh, y'all seen it. I paid $27.38 total for everything. And I got the styling mousse that I want to try from BTZ. I love that brand. Silk Elements. I haven't used them since I was like, I don't know, 1920. But I mean, they have really good reviews. So I got the one of their straight thin silk coconut um, heat protectant. I got the leave-in conditioner because I always need this. My hair be dry, my scalp be dry. And I got this tea tree deep conditioning mask from a brand called Soapbox. Never heard of them, but we gonna try it. We gonna see what it's like. But for everything, yeah, I paid $27. Tax in uh, Los Angeles is crazy. I don't care what nobody saying. It's damn crazy, but let's get to the fashion district i hope they got this dress or i'm going to literally shed a tear because the last one they didn't have and i was so sad but this one i'm hoping that they do oh it's actually telling me to go this way so i guess i'm gonna go this way i thought i was gonna make a let's see oh now you want to reroute me yeah because nigga you told me to go that way and now you want me to go this way you don't know which way you want me to go I'm really excited though. So y'all tell me why lately everywhere I go there's all these men who are like trying who like hit on me. And I mean like leaving numbers on my car or like walking up to me and giving me their number. Um like giving me like little handwritten notes with their numbers on it. Like I'm very 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 flattered. It's very flattering actually. Like you know they all like I find you very attractive. Like I think you're very beautiful. I think that's so sweet. Like and all these men are not ugly. But I get hit on by everybody, girl. White, black, Mexican. That's all that's out here in LA. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it like that. White, black, Mexican, African men, all, all the men be hitting on me. They all be wanting some of me. And I am not mad at it at all. I'm gonna just turn right here because ain't no way I'm gonna be able to turn right there. It's too many people. Well, I, I could do it. I, I just gotta go up. I'm gonna just make it to the next turn. But all these little men, I mean, not little men, but these men, like, trying to holler at me. And I do, I find it very flattering. Like, oh, thank you so much. Like, that's so sweet. That you find me attractive. And, you know, I like when a man, like, you see something that you like and you go, like, push for it. I really, really rocks with that. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. So, yeah. I think it's sweet. I think it's cute. I think it's so sweet and so cute. y'all got a question so um when a man texts you like and they send a picture of themselves to you and they ask for one back do you always send it right back or do you wait a little while because i feel like i shouldn't be sending you a picture of myself from like the first time that we text like i think that's to me, I just think it's a little like, I don't know you like that. And when like, what if we get to like know each other a little bit and I realize I don't really want to mess with you. And now you just got a picture of me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why? Why would I, why would I like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make, maybe it's just me. I just, maybe I'm just so stuck in my little ways. Cause I definitely grew up in the air before cell phones had cameras. Hell, I grew up before we even had cell phones. Like I'm 31, but I remember when we did not have cell phones like so i'm just trying to figure out like am i being weird am i the weird one am i being weird i just don't want a man to have a picture of me and i don't like you and then you got a picture of me on your phone like <laughs> maybe i'm just too like like um maybe i'm just too i don't know i grew up around around women who are very um skeptical of people like they don't trust nobody they don't like very skeptical women is who i grew up around so <clears throat> you know i just I just want to be safe, that's all. And I don't usually send men pictures. Like, it's not my thing. Like, I am a very much an in-person kind of person. Like, I like to get to know people in person. So, like, let's go. We can go get something to eat. We ain't even got to go in there to eat. We can go to a coffee shop. We can go for a walk. We can go on a hike, for that, for that matter. Like, I am one of them. Like, we don't have to... You know, it doesn't have to be, like, spending money to... But I, I still want to get to know people in person. I'm that kind of person. Like, I don't really do the over the phone talking all the time thing it's kind of i don't know I, I just just me i guess it's just i mean when you grew up i feel like when you grew up in the 90s early 2000s you went outside to get to know people you went to talk to people like that's just how it was and i don't like the over the phone chit chatting because it, i feel like it for me personally it makes the connection for me like it's a electronic like 
transaction so that way when i see you in person it's kind of awkward because i didn't got comfortable comfortable talking to you about things over the phone and not in person does that make sense i know it makes sense y'all know what i mean if you know you know you know what i mean anyhow almost to the fashion district i'm turning on san pedro right now and we'll see we'll see y'all that's my favorite show look next level chef oh it went away but ain't that about I'm feeling some kind of way. I went to two stores and it's been a dub so far. Like, I didn't like the material. And the other one, they didn't have it in stock. So, what I'm going to do about that, I don't know. But let me keep searching in the meantime. it out right now but i'm not gonna give up i'm gonna keep going keep searching i want to go to this one spot that has they always have really cute dresses i've never purchased from them before but um they always have cute stuff so i'm gonna go check them out and see what they got going on but as you guys can see i'm definitely in the fashion district let's go see so I'm back in the car and I'm going to go look at a couple more stores, but I'm very frustrated with this time of year. Even the business owner, people that own the shops are like the vendors. They're like, you know, it's that time of the year where um, it's like in between. It's not summer. It's not winter. I mean, technically it's spring. However, spring is always a hard time to shop for because it's still chilly, still kind of cold. Um, it's not really too warm. People don't want to wear a jacket, but also you want to be warm. And I'm not like people really, I feel like people really don't buy in the spring. Like you buy for summer, you buy summer, fall and winter. Spring is just like whatever I got, I'm just going to throw on like, you know, my hoodies, my sweatpants. I did see a couple really nice things that I like. There's this top that I love, but I don't like the bottom of the dress. It's too formal. And I need it to be a little bit more summer beautiful gown though uh and then the one gown that i came to see that i fell in love with online the material is thin as the wind like granted it's lightweight but i feel like that material is going to get itchy you cannot wash it i feel like if you wash it it's going to get messed up and i don't want that so y'all just keep me in prayer because i'm gonna keep myself in prayer as well because i need to find the pieces that i'm looking for i'm not like rushing but i do want to make sure i get good pieces good qualities if i got a source i live down the street from the fashion district so if i need to source i'll source i ain't know i'm not afraid at all but dang i am a little sad about that But I did get their information, so, you know, WhatsApp, Fashion Go, WhatsApp, all their information. But anyway, let me look on, let me look on this page and see what else I saved in my cart and what other stores I want to go to. So, yeah. So I didn't find what I wanted at the Fashion District today. It's just hard to find what you're looking for. I don't like that, but it's okay. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, go home, and uh, do my do my one two today. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, it's just like everything they're selling is like, like it's March. April is literally in like two weeks. So everything they're selling is like kind of like winter fallish still, and then they have like some summer pieces. But I don't want summer just yet. You know. And everything is like cut out. I don't like all the cut out stuff, but I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, let me go to Trader Joe's. I want some orange chicken and some fried rice. And I'm definitely going to get my favorite popsicles for sure, for sure. So, yeah, let me just go to Trader Joe's. Uh, 
the life of a business owner these things happen sometimes but i just can't find what i'm looking for and i'm not into this i want my, my store to be i want my store to be sexy but very sophisticated sexy like not overly like like sex like you look at it and you think sex immediately you know like dang like that's really cute like dang, that's kind of sexy but it's like sophisticated sexy you know what i mean that's what i'm looking for about my business so it's all right i'll just keep searching for now no big deal i'll find what i'm looking for i'll find what i'm looking for no big deal i know i keep repeating the same thing but y'all that like mm, like why the lady's like i'm not picking my nose it's my earring my nose ring but the lady was like um she was like yeah it's a really hard time even for us shop owners because like she's like as you can see like it's kind of empty today like yeah i mean it, it's a thursday and it's kind of empty out here and she's like because it's spring and so people have like you know that like it's like people are trying to get rid of all their fall stuff so they can make room for summer because spring you really don't put many things in your store and i get that i understand that so I might just put a couple things on my shop to get rid of them because I don't want to have all this inventory sitting around. So I may do that, you know? Um, but I just could not find what I wanted. And I'm so picky about material. Like, my thing is doing this, like a lot of stuff, a lot of people sell like cheap material. Like their stuff is made, I mean, of course you're selling it in bulk, so it's gonna be made cheaply. It doesn't always have to be. Like there are a couple, um, there are a couple vendors out here that I really love the way that they um, that their fabrics are because their fabrics are so high quality, like it's so good. But then there's other ones that are just like, what's the problem, fam? So, yeah. I just, I'm really picky about the fabrics. I want the fabrics to be good, so. And everybody's stuff is just like it's still boring colors like it's still a bunch of browns and blacks and like gray and creams and like bronzes nothing's like bright and then the stuff that's out that's like colorful for like spring and summer are like childish working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block or I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man, the cheeks get hung. Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Good morning, good morning, honey bun. Good morning. Um, me and Tucci about to go for a walk, but I'm going to the post office. After that, I got one package just sent off. Um, and then I'm going back to the fashion district today because I found the dress that I want. I found it. It's white. It's beautiful. I love her. Definitely doing that. But I'm gonna walk Tucci first and then we got a couple errands to run. So good morning. Today is Friday, March 15th. Come on, mommy. What's in your mouth? Let me see. Oh, it's a dead bird. Oh my gosh. What happened? That's so shit. Anyway, good morning, guys. All right, lovelies. I'm at the fashion district. As you guys can see out my window, I am here. Um, I'm gonna walk over to the vendor that I saw this dress on that I really really like. I wish I had a split in it I just want something with a split like I feel like splits are so cute, but also Not having splits is a little sophisticated too. So Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go look at this store and see what they got Ooh. This meter already has it's still blinking green. So I'm about to go see how much money is left on this meter how much time but let me get started. Let me get started. Let me get started. It's booming down here today. Everybody at the fashion district on a Friday. But I'm making my way to the store that I saw this dress that I really, really like. So, like, I showed my mama one of the dresses I want. And she's like, oh, no. But she also is 50 years old. So, of course, she's not going to like what I like. Like, I wouldn't expect her to. But, anyway. I'm still looking. We shall see what we have in store. So 
excited. The dress that I wanted was in stock. I can't show y'all, but this is my receipt. I'm so super fucking excited. I'm so super excited because I didn't think that it would be in stock because I've been like having bad luck this whole week, but I got it and it's in stock. So I'm super happy about that. Um, very super excited about that. So I'm gonna look at like two more things and then I'm gonna be out of here. They said I can come back and pick it up around 2.45. So 2.45, I'm gonna come back and get it, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Y'all have no idea. Thank you, Lord, I prayed about this. I said, God, to this week I need to get at least one, at least one, and I did, so. I'm ecstatic. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Cool, cool, cool. Y'all, I am beaming. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Second package acquired. So I got two different dresses today. And I'm really super excited because I'm just excited. You guys will see. But i am done shopping i'm about to go ahead and get back to my car i gotta come back at 2 45 so like two and a half hours to pick up my other package but that is quite all right because i got what i needed and i'm very 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 freaking excited about it guys i can't even contain myself right now <sighs> so excited but yeah Today was a sex for that. I told you guys, I'm just gonna keep coming back until I figure it out. That's the perks living down the street. And I figured it out. So, so super excited about that. Let me go ahead and get back to my car and I'll come back down here at 2.45 to get my other package. So get some food, cause I'm hungry. 